Hey, what's up, guys? This is Scratchy Fox, and today we're going to be building the Class C Climax Steam Locomotive. So, this is the Sunkist Fruit Growers Supply Company number no. three, built in 1909. It runs on oil, so uh, one of these they have oil in it, the other has water. I'm guessing the bigger one probably has the water, that's what I'm guessing. But, anyways, this is like a steam locomotive used to haul like logging trains. It, um, Hilt, California. I don't know if anyone knows where that place is, but it's pretty north up there next to the border of Oregon and California. So we do have a logging flatbed car here along with a caboose. So this is actually quite a narrow train. So at first I was wondering if it was like narrow gauge or if it was standard gauge, but uh, this thing actually still exists at the Rail Giants Train Museum in California. And I believe it's on a standard gauge track, but it is the loading gauge is four blocks wide, so it is going to have to be <laughs> leaning onto one side. Uh, but the thing that I changed when I'm making four wide on standard gauge track, I decided I would just put uh, the bogies right on the track itself. So it is leaning onto one side, but you can't really tell if you're looking on it from the side because uh, the plow is kind of blocking the other wheel, so it just looks, it looks more normal than it would be. Uh, but anyways, let's get started on this build. So first thing we're going to do, let's make the front plow. It's going to be four blocks wide, like so. We want to have it leaning on to one side. And then um, right behind it, let's add in the bogey. So that's going to be great concrete. Both sides for the wheels. And we're going to have an upside down nether brick stairs, like so. Another gray concrete right behind it. The middle let's add a dark oak wood fence gate and let's add oak wooden buttons to the sides of the wheels all right so in the front on top we're going to have two blocks wide of black concrete like that sort of the middle of the plow and we're going to make that segment so that it is 15 blocks long so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then we're gonna make it two blocks wide all the way across. Like so. In the front, we're gonna add a coupling uh, in the middle. Just another brick slab. And we're also gonna add another brick slabs to the sides, and that's gonna be uh, five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then at the the fifth one, I guess we're going to make it a double like that. Or actually, is that the sixth one? Three, four, five. Okay, it is the fifth one. Never mind. So, the next we're going to add a dark oak wood trap door in the front, two blocks wide. And on the sides, we're going to add nether brick fences. Also, add nether brick fence on the side of the coupling in the front. And we're going to skip a block and let's add another brick fence here. Go down the up, add another nether brick fence. Just goes up to support that um, boiler. So that boiler is going to be a 2x2 two two of quartz. And it's going to be also two blocks long. All right, underneath the second um, square of quartz, we're going to add uh, two blocks wide, black concrete like that. And we want to extend it to the back. Let's make it five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And you know what? Let's make it seven long, actually. Like so. All right, cool. Once we get to that part here, uh, we're going to make like the cabin itself. So let's make a black concrete, four blocks on the side. And we may have to make it a bit taller. Am I doing this wrong? I don't know. Actually, yeah, let me delete that one in the, in the bottom. And we're going to make this four blocks tall like that. All right, so same thing on the other side. And then uh, we're going to extend the boiler all the way to the cab using black concrete. And black concrete is pretty dark, so sorry if you can't really see this well but there's no other way. It looks like the shaders are turning up as well. So next, we're going to add in black concrete on the top. 
and either frame the front and a gray glass pane inside and that's going to be a lantern on top and then right behind it the smoke sack using two blocks tall of cobblestone wall and behind that we're going to add uh, these humps here so skip one add one skip one add one and they're just on the side lining up with the center and we're going to add a skeleton skull in the middle between these two humps and we're going to add another brick slabs on top and on the side we're going to add a oak wooden button on the back one and birch wooden button on the one in the front so we're going to go back to the cab here let's add uh, two more black concrete so it's like a wall like that and add two blocks wide nether brick slab on top then behind it we're going to take out uh, oak wood slab and we're going to make it a 2x4 so extend that out like so and let's add in some more detail on the side here uh, there will be oh, yeah we also need to add this black concrete in front of this nether brick slab here so add that with a quartz slab on top same thing on the other side and let's add a acacia wooden button right behind it both sides all right so next we're going to go to the side over here and add in these three block wide uh, oak wood trap doors right behind that uh, acacia wooden button and we want to make it low so it's with this block so that we can add in I believe this is a compressor so we're going to have a uh, cobblestone wall in the middle of that and I need to get our dark oak wood fence gates like that and add, add another one on top like that and open that up and let's add a wither skeleton skull on top of that cobblestone wall and ideally this would be black but there is no like dark wall yet I guess so that's like the closest thing and for the other side we're going to add dark oak wood fence gates three blocks long like this add another one on top towards the cap open that up and then we're going to add two nether brick slabs down here and a dark oak wood or just an oak wood trap door like so all right so once we do that let's add in this thing that goes down that's going to be two blocks of stone slab yep diagonally down and then below or right after it there's going to be another brick slab with uh, an oak wood slab underneath it let's do the same thing on the other side oak wood slab or another brick slab and then oak wood all right, and in the middle of that, we're going to have uh, two nether brick slabs in between. And in the middle, we're going to have two blocks long of uh, nether brick. Or not nether brick, what am I saying? Dark oak wood fence gate. And the middle is just in between the tracks. So we're going to add the bogey in the back. And by the way, all these bogies are actually powered. So let's add gray concrete for the wheels. Skip a block, another one. And let's add upside down another brick stairs in the middle and oak wooden buttons on sides and dark oak wood fence gate in the middle. Same thing on the other side, just like we did in the front. Now we're going to take out dark oak wood fence gates. Let's add um, three blocks wide on the side here. And then we're going to add another brick stairs like that. And then two more dark oak wood fence gates. And then another brick slab. So same thing on the other side. So three dark oak wood fence gates. Another brick stairs. And then two more dark oak wood fence gates. Another brick slab. All right. So then we're going to add two uh, black concretes on the side here with yellow terracotta two blocks wide on top same thing over here 
and then we're gonna skip a block of space and then we're gonna add two by three of black concrete right on the walls so this is gonna be the bunker and let's add a wall in the back of this connecting them together and then we're gonna take um, another brick uh, slab let's add one on the top and the bottom of the side of the cab like so and then we're going to take um, another brick stairs and have them uh, one upside down and one right side up so they make like the C shape like so same thing on the other side and it's going to face the back then we're going to take a black banner at the side or right behind it and we're going to take out uh, iron bars and add the handlebars to get inside the cab either side like so and then we're gonna make a wall right over here two by two of black concrete and then we're left with this one by two hole we're gonna fill that in with another brick slot and let's make uh, a C shape around that another brick slab using yellow carpet and then we're gonna take out another brick fence, two blocks tall, for some pillars for the roof area. And then there will be another brick slab right here, both sides. And then we're gonna color the sides of the roof using yellow carpet, because it does have a yellow trim. And in real life, it doesn't have like this color scheme anymore. This is like the older version. And I'm gonna add that in the front as well. So this is what it looked like before. Uh, nowadays it looks a little bit different and I don't really like it um, just mostly like dark colored and not the yellow trim that they have right here anyways back to locomotive we're gonna take out stone bun two blocks tall right behind that uh, secondary uh, handlebars I guess like that and I wonder let's fill in the inside of the cab using another brick uh, slabs and actually this thing we need to fill all this flooring in like so actually just like a two by three slabs inside all right it looks all good now before I forget let's make um, that uh, front of the cab door or oh, I don't even know if it's a door it's like a giant window maybe so we're going to take out a light gray banner and take out ink sack make a border around it and that's pretty much it for the design of the banner. And we're going to have that in both parts of front of the cab for the window area. Looks like that. Very nice. And then we're going to add an acacia wooden button in front of the boiler. Like so, just on the middle side. And let me see if I'm forgetting anything. Looks like we're all good. So let's move on to the tender of this. So Actually, never mind. We almost forgot this part. So we're going to take out... Uh, stone slab, let's just add two blocks in the back like that. Now we can move on to the tender, so let's add another brick slab in the middle with uh, another brick fence on the side of that. And then we're going to take out black concrete, two blocks wide. And this section, uh, we're going to make it five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Extend the rest out. Then we're going to add another brick fence or another brick. You know what? Yeah, let's do another brick fence on this side and another brick slab in the middle. Then we're going to take out another brick stairs, add upside down, and we want to have it curved on the outer edges like this and facing outwards in the inside part like that. So do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to work on the bogey. The bogey, same thing as usual. Go down over here, get in the middle, and add our wheels using gray concrete. Uh, upside down, another brick stairs in the middle, oak wood buns on the side of the wheels, and dark oak wood fence gate in the middle. Same thing over here. Cool. So that's it for the bottom I believe and now let's work on the top area so that's gonna be uh, four blocks wide like a four by two of black concrete in the back and then in the middle we want to have that yellow terracotta adjacent with that middle that bogey like that 
And let's add black concrete to block the tall wall around everything else. Like so. Then on the top section, this hole here, we're going to fill that in with another brick slab. And add a border wall of yellow carpet like so. And then we're going to take out our birch button at five blocks wide on the top section on the sides like so. All right, cool. So yeah, that is pretty much it. And actually, you know what, for this, we need to actually use birch fence. Apparently I used the wrong fence. But yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build the locomotive, um, the Sunkiss Fruit Grower Supply Co. number three. Now we're gonna make like the rolling stock if you do want to add this. And of course you can add way more log cars than this. This is just like an example of what you can add to your train. So let's add the logging car. And to do that, um, you know what, we can attach it. Or maybe not. Yeah, you'll attach it to the locomotive. So I guess we'll just take out our uh, red terracotta. Let's add it in the middle. And I'm gonna make this section so it's 18 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then in the back, we're going to add another brick slab, like so. And then we're going to go right here. And let's add our oak wood fences, two blocks tall. And add an oak trap door on top. This is going to be the break. Then we're going to go down below. Let's add two blocks long of dark oak wood trap doors. And add a bogey. Now this bogey. It's a pretty similar design, but really identical to the other bogies we were making. Just take our gray concretes like that, four of them. Upside down, another brick stairs, dark oak, or oak wooden buttons on the sides, dark oak fence gate in the middle. Yeah, it's just like pretty much the same design. And we're gonna do the same design in the back part. So go to the back, add two dark oak wood trap doors, down here and add another bogey. I don't think I have to explain this once again since we've built it so many times. But once we're done with that, cool. Uh, let's also add in uh, another brick stairs upside down uh, right above the middle of the bogey. And let's take another brick slab, add to the side of it, and add one so it's like doubled like that. And we're going to do this to all four uh, parts, all four corners. This is to hold the log, the logs inside, like so. All right, so then we're going to move down below. Let's add, um, from the front, let's add three blocks, I believe, yeah. Three blocks of dark oak wood trap doors. And you can also add another brick slab in the middle of that bogey. Make sure you're doing that right. So it looks like they're all connected. All right, so we're gonna add those three dark oak wood trap doors, and then there's gonna be two of these spruce wood uh, slabs. And then we're gonna take out um, dark oak wood trap door, add three more, like so. Then we're gonna add some writing on the bottom using a uh, birch button. So we're gonna go, um, before this spruce wood, let's add two birch wood buttons like that. And skip one away and add one on the other side. Same thing over here. Like that. And then you would add in the logs on the very top. And that's very, very simple to do. I just made them like one block away from the edge so that it would look like that pretty much. All right, so once we're done with that logging car, Next thing we're going to do, we're going to make uh, the caboose. So this caboose is pretty small. Um, we're going to take out terracotta. It's just called terracotta. So we're going to make like that three blocks wide. And we're going to make it 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three blocks wide, like so. And the back, we're going to add another brick slab. 
let's add also a dark oak wooden buttons right there on the sides and also on the front all right so we're gonna make like that little house um to do that we're gonna use stripped acacia wood and we're gonna make it three blocks tall like that let's make a wall in the back so it's like a three by three Uh, then we're going to make it five blocks long. Like that. Just make it go all the way across. And same thing on the other side. Then we're going to poke a hole in the middle, both sides. Place a black stained glass block inside. And the front, we want a door, so we're going to place a spruce door with an oak uh, plank on top. And right above that section, let's add in the roof. So there's going to be iron trap doors on the sides. In the middle, there's going to be um, nether brick slabs all the way across. And then black carpet on the sides of the roof like so. Then we're going to add in um, arch one buttons on the side of the door. And let's add in the bogies. So the bogies, same exact design. That's the other ones, I believe, yeah. So skip one away from the edge, add in the bogey. Once again, it's, uh, yeah, it's like the same design. Nothing really changes about that. And oak one buttons. I guess also it's like a stylistic choice. It's better to have things all the same so that it looks like it fits in together. So skip one away from the edge, add another bogey. There's not much space in between these two bogeys, by the way. Add in our buttons. Like so. Come on. And once we finish that, we're going to add a dark oak wood fence gates. Let's add it to the side in the middle on top of this terracotta layer and then open that up. Same thing on the other side. Like so. And now we can add in this random material. Looks like a desk to me. So we're going to take out oak wood fence. And let's add two blocks long on the sides. In the middle, we're going to have um, an oak slab like that. And then we're going to go to the next layer. And add an oak block, oak plank here on the sides, and oak wood slab in the middle. And slabs three blocks wide in the back of that. We're also going to add in some more oak wood fences on the sides. Oak wood slab in the middle. And then I think that's it for the desk part now. There's like a can over here. So we're going to do that. Just place a polished and a site block with a stone brick slab behind it. So apparently we almost forgot this detail. But we're going to add dark wooden buttons right above uh, where the bogies are in the center of them and add a birch wooden button right underneath that window and now I think we're so yeah that's pretty much it on how to build this logging train with the class C climax of Sunkist fruit grower supply company number three along with like the logging cars and thanks to the person who commissioned this build for supporting the channel so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you do remember to hit that like button down below because it helps grow the channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye.